welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain time shifting property of z transform so to explain time shifting property if i consider signal x of n if we have signal x of n and its z transform that is x of z then the time shifting property states the time shifting property states that x of n minus m z transform that has to be z to the power minus m x of z and if you shift this time in this way by plus m in that case z transform that has to be z to the power m x of z so this is what time shifting property of z transform now let us have proof of this property so it will be more clear so now i'll derive proof of this time shifting property so see if i say i have signal x of z that is z transform of x of n then x of z that is z transform of signal x of n then basic formula for z transform is summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n into z to the power minus n now what i'll be doing is i'll calculate z transform of x of n minus m so if i calculate z transform of x of n minus m then that has to be z to the power minus m into x of z so that is what we are deal with to prove about so here z transform of x of n minus m that has to be summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite now our signal is x of n minus m into z to the power minus m so now here see our signal that is x of n minus m now we want this signal in terms of x of z so for that first i'll consider n minus m is equals to any other variable so if i consider if i consider n minus m is equals to p so if n minus m is equals to p then we can say n is equals to p plus m so that is what we can say here now one more thing that we can say if n varies from minus infinite to infinite if n varies from minus infinite to infinite then even p will vary from minus infinite to infinite so if n varies from minus infinite to infinite then one can say p even will vary from minus infinite to infinite so if we substitute this n minus m is equals to p in this formula then now summation x of p z to the power instead of n now i need to place p plus m and here now limits of p that will even vary from minus infinite to infinite so we can say p varies from minus infinite to infinite so this will be summation p varies from minus infinite to infinite x of p into z to the power minus p into z to the power minus m and z to the power minus m that is constant you can take it outside so z to the power minus m that is constant we can take it outside summation p varies from minus infinite to infinite x of p into z to the power minus p and this is what this is what z transform of x of <coughs> x of n right this is what z transform of x of n so we can say this is z transform of signal x so we can say this is z to the power minus m into x of z so this is what the property which we have proved z transform of time shifted version x of n minus m 
that has to be z to the power minus m x of z. So we have proved this property here. Now let us have example so it will be little more clear. So I will consider one example to explain how to apply this property. Now question is find z transform of del of n minus k. Find z transform of del of n minus k. Now see we have basic idea about what is the z transform of del of n. So if you see z transform of del of n that is 1. So if you shift this del of n by minus k then del of n minus k z transform that has to be we need to multiply z to the power minus k over here. So z to the power minus k into z transform of del of n and that is 1. So z transform of del of n minus k that has to be z to the power minus k. So this is what we can utilize in this type of questions where shifting of signal is been given. So that is how we can use time shifting property of z transform in many more examples you will be using this property. So one should remember if you have signal x of n minus m then z transform has to be z to the power minus m x of z where x of z is z transform of x of n. So that is how we can utilize this property to have a solution of examples. I hope that you have understood this session. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future, I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.